Dears, welcome to a brief description of 6th chapter, Unraveling Genetic Mysteries of Class 10 Biology. It's me, Rishi Dodakal, GHSS Kondoti. Grigat Johan Mendel is considered as the father of genetics, the branch of science that deals with the heredity and variation. The inferences from his hybridization experiments in pea plants, that is Pisum sativum, led to the foundation of genetics. He studied the inheritance of seven pairs of contrasting traits in pea plants and explained that each character is controlled by a pair of factors. Later studies proved that the factors are the genes present in the DNA in chromosomes. When Grigor Mendel conducted experiments considering one pair of contrasting traits, only one trait is expressed in the first generation, while the other remains hidden. The expressive character is known as dominant trait, and the hidden one is as recessive trait. The trait which remains hidden in the first generation appears in the second generation, and the ratio of the dominant and recessive traits in the second generation is always 3 is to 1. He assumed that during gamete formation, the factors that determine a particular character segregate without getting mixed. When he conducted experiments considering two pairs of contrasting traits, the ratio in the second generation appeared as 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. When I'll explain that, the appearance of variation in offsprings is due to the independent assortment of each character. It was found that the carriers of heredity which Mendel described as factors were the genes present in DNA. Genes are the specific nucleotides of DNA that control metabolic activities and responsible for specific characteristic features of any organism through synthesizing proteins. The double helical structured model of DNA proposed by James Watson and Francis Crick shed light on the different types of nucleotides. DNA and RNA are two types of nucleic acids uh, that are made of different kinds of nucleotides. A sim single nucleotide contain a nitrogen base, a sugar molecule and a phosphate group. A nucleotide is a basic unit of nucleic acid. DNA molecule is made up of four kinds of nucleotides, namely adenine nucleotide, thymine nucleotide, cytosine nucleotide and guanine nucleotide, all with the deoxyribose sugar and phosphate. In DNA, the base adenine pairs only with thymine and guanine pairs only with cytosine. RNA molecule is made up of four kinds of nucleotides, namely adenine, uracil, cytosine and guanine nucleotides. Since RNA have one strand, no base pairing is possible. Ribose sugar is present in RNA along with phosphate group. As I mentioned earlier, the specific parts of DNA contain information for protein synthesis. These nucleotides are known as genes. Proteins are formed in the ribosomes seen in the cytoplasm. Different kinds of RNA like mRNA, tRNA and rRNA involved in this process. Observe this. mRNA which carries information from DNA, forms from DNA and reaches ribosomes. Based on the information in the uh, mRNA that is messenger RNA, tRNA brings different kinds of amino acids to ribosome. Ribosomes bind amino acids to form protein molecules. rRNA or ribosomal RNA that are seen associated with ribosomes. 46 chromosomes are seen in each cell of human being, out of which 44 are somatic chromosomes and 2 are sex chromosomes. Females have two X chromosomes and males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome as sex chromosomes. Thus, the genetic makeup of female is 44 plus XX and that of male is 44 plus XY. The XY chromosomes of the father determine whether the child is male or female. When an ovum or egg fertilizes with X chromosome containing sperm, the possible child will be female. And when the ovum fertilizes with a Y containing sperm, the possible child will be male. When gametes undergo fusion, the combination of allele changes. This causes variation of characteristics in offsprings of the same parents. During the initial phase of meiosis, crossing over or the pairing and exchanging the parts of chromosome also causes variation in offsprings. But mutation is sudden inheritable change 
in the genetic constitution of an organism bring about changes in genes which can be transmitted over generation may leads to evolutionary changes too. The rise or fall in the production of melanin is due to difference in the function of alleles of genes responsible for skin color. This is the reason for the color difference of human skin. It is not racial difference which makes the skin color dark or light. This is simply an adaptation to live under the sun. Thank you.